Welcome to another episode of Steel Extruding. This is Neil Underwood or SpaceX ULA. And in this edition, we're going to cover the three basic levels of a RepRap. On the right, you have um, about as good of RepRap as I think you could probably put together. Um, this is the um, about everything you could ever want. Um, this is actually a kit from Maker Gear, but you could sell source it if you wanted. Um, this is just sort of going to stand in as about the best RepRap you could put together. Middle one is about as cheap a rep wrap as you would want to put together um, and use on a regular basis. So even if you went with the cheapest, uh, probably in pretty short order, it's going to start looking like this one once you uh, decide to spend a little more money for a much better machine. So the middle one is the cheapest you would want to use on a day-to-day -day basis. And on the left is about as cheap of rep wrap as you could put together. Um, so the cheapest one you could put together, you could probably put together for about 350 bucks. Um, all the bells and whistles for a rep wrap you could probably put together for um, $850, $900. So let's take a look at these three machines and see what the differences are. Okay, now this again is um, the cheapest machine I've managed to put together. I have $450 in it. I'll show you some ways I could have chopped this price down to probably $350 if I had been a little bit cheaper. Okay, so um, these are used steppers. Um, they cost me about 5 bucks a pop. You can get them off eBay. Um, these are 1.8 degree. I used zinc threaded rod. I could have used raw and chopped some a uh, little bit of money off for the thread rod. Uh, let's see. Um, smooth rod. I got drill rod from Fastenal. Um, you wouldn't want to go any cheaper. You definitely don't want to use the round bar from Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, that just doesn't work well for linear motion at all. But drill rod's good enough for linear motion, even though it's not real linear motion. Um, I brought bolt brass bushings uh, which cost like 30 cent a piece I could have went with printed PLA bushings um, but they do eventually wear out but they, they will last a good bit of time so printed PLA bushings are fine if you are willing to print off some extra ones pretty quick so you don't have a machine that's dead um, limit switches cheapest ones I could find um, no heated build plate I'm printing on blue um, tape um, I use a Maker Gear hot end, which is about 75 bucks for the kit. I could have been a little bit cheaper if I'd used like a Mark III nozzle or an Adrian's. I probably could have knocked 25 bucks off of it, but Maker Gear hot ends are just solid. Um, also, I could have went cheaper if I had not opted for the professionally printed um, gears from Maker Gear, but um, I don't trust I, have, I don't trust my own printed gears. Um, you can see here my printed gears sort of suck. Um, his don't so <laughs> I go with um, the professionally printed ones um, I went with Ramps Electronics on this one uh, I could have knocked some price off if I went with Sangra Lulu Electronics and put it together myself uh, These this was like 140-ish for a Ramps 1.2 board and and put it together myself um, Sangra Lulu I think it would have been you know 110 or 100 to self source um, I didn't even buy a fan for the, um, electronics I actually used this, which is ripped out of an old ATX. So, fan to blow on my, um, heat sinks. Power supply, I could have went with a old, um, laptop power supply or a, um, old ATX. All you need is 60 watt just to run the electronics and the steppers. But I opted for this because I figure eventually I'm going to put a heated bill plate on it, so... This could have been about $350 if I had made, took some shortcuts, but I went ahead and opted to upgrade it a little bit. So it was about $450, $400 in this one. Um, this one's $500, maybe $550. Um, not much difference between this machine and that machine. Um, I did use all new steppers on this one, but if I had used, used one, that wouldn't probably have affected much. Um, let's see, on both my machines, I go ahead and get my hobbed bolts from Ecrotech. Um, I tried hobbing my own bolts and I failed miserably. So many times it's not even funny. Some people have a knack for it and can do them really well. I suck at hob bolts. But still, cheap limit switches. Um, this one's ramps 1.3. But, you know, you should get whatever ramps you can get. I suggest the ramps, but Sangra Lulu would work just as fine. Lop some money off. There's not really much difference operationally between the Sangra Lulu and the um, uh, Sangra Lulu and the ramps. Big difference is heated bill plate. This one has a heated bill plate, and um, if you're planning on using your machine seriously, um, get a heated bill plate. You will be happy that you did 
But beyond that, pretty much this is all the same stuff. Um, I'm not responsible for this wiring job. One of the new guys at Acker Spaces uh, wired, rewired this one up. So um, that's the reason it looks crazy. Okay. Uh, now this one is a balls out best rep wrap you could put together. Um, again, it'll cost you, if you did it this way with this level of obsessiveness, it would run you maybe $850, $900, possibly even $950 to put together. I think make yourselves a kit with most everything that's here. Um, for eight twenty-five, I think the only thing I have on mine that he doesn't include in his kit is a um, SD ramps by Clement, so I can print off SD cards. But beyond that, this is all Maker Gear kit. Um, so I'll show you the differences between this machine and these machines. Pretty much everything's been sort of just amped up a notch. So instead of the zinc um, rods, this is stainless steel, so it'll never oxidize. Um, instead of using 1.8 degree steppers, they use 0.9 steppers. Instead of using smooth rod, they use linear, or instead of using drill rod, they, or Maker Gear uses linear smooth rod. Instead of using brass bushings like that, they use self-centering brass bushings like heavy equipment use. Uh, let's see, all the wiring is, um, or all the wiring connectors are actually chocolate blocks to make the, um, make the wiring cleaner includes a bunch of wire wrap uh, you want to use wire wrap on your machine if you're going to seriously use it just because it keeps it cleaner that's luckily to have failures because you hook a wire when you're moving it uh, let's see um, printed quality um, get as good a print quality as you can I printed that kit came with that um, I don't know if you can see the print quality well mine sucks <laughs> my print quality has always been pretty crappy compared to some of the better printers Let's see, again, um, it's all stainless steel, oh, stainless steel hardware. If you notice here, that is um, a stainless steel bolt, all nice and shiny. Um, zinc. Oh, let's see. Uh, he used a 550 watt ATX power supply, so it's cooled. Um, should long term probably be a little more reliable. Uh, let's see, it ramps 1.3 again. Um, if you, even if you get this kit or if you have a rep wrap, I really suggest you pick up the SD ramps by Clement. Pick it up in the IRC, or I think Ulta Machine sells it now. Also, so you want SD ramps if you're serious about this stuff. Um, he uses professionally laser cut parts on everything, so it's all nice and uniform. Even his Y trolley, instead of being like this, it's it is a piece of wood chopped, and I'm using, uh, yeah, it's pin springs. His Y trolley. Much more professional looking. Much more professional looking stuff there. Um, let's see. Uh, also, I use printed pulleys. Uh, Maker Gear on his kit actually includes the, Del or the um, plastic machined pulleys. So they're, um, they're, end up having about the same resolution the only difference is this one's a little more reliable they're never ever going to break let's see of course he did build plate um let's see my board his board his board's prettier cut also uh let's see um also you'll notice the extruder um this uses let me go down here you see a good example of it this uses a printed gearbox for the extruder um the Wade style extruders are perfectly reliable, but um, they're a little finicky to get everything lined up right. Once they're lined up, they're usually good. Um, with this, it's industrial goodness. Uh, it's a stepper motor attached to a metal gearbox and our workload. You're never probably ever going to wear those things out. Um, I think that's the same extruder that Prussia or Prussia are the guy that designed the Prussia Mendel, the one he uses. Um, let's see. Is there anything I'm forgetting here? Knows as soon as I stop filming this video, I'm going to regret having not said something. Um, oh, the um, uh, holder here for my spool doesn't come with a kit. That's something I printed out for about the first upgrade you really want to put on your um, pressure whenever you put it together. But anyway, so, oh, ATX. He used an ATX for more reliability. I think it covered that. Okay, so, in recap, um... This is uh, probably about as good of rep rep as you can put together, um, running around 900 bucks. Middle grade, running about 500 bucks, and um, 
this one and this one are probably going to print about the same quality. It's just this is a nicer machine. It's just all the way around nicer. This is good enough. 550 um, But I don't think anyone sells a kit for this. This is, I think, the only Prussia kit out there. Um, if there are any other Prussia kits that you can think of, then um, leave a comment. Let's see. Uh, next is this one. This is about the cheapest one you can put together, about 350 450-ish. Um, choose your weapon wisely. I hope this helped out. Have a good day.